YouTube, it's me, Melissa, it's like the ocean. Hello, YouTube world. It's Melissa. Um, this is going to be a very good, very informative video on your spirit guide. Everybody has a few spirit guides around. Teachers, healers, um, they're not here to make us do anything. They guide us. They give us signs. You know, and if we're in tune with that, then we can follow those signs to become more wholesome and become, have that s higher self-awareness, uh, self-consciousness to live a more fulfilling life and take on the roles that we're intended to have in this lifetime, okay? As um, James Van Prog, a famous psychic, has said, we are spiritual beings having a human experience. And he's right. Um, where this is borrowed, the body is borrowed. Um, there, everybody I feel like has a, a, uh, uh, like a, a, a form of medium ship in them. It's just, it's just having to bring that out. Um, if we're all spirits driving around in these bodies and learning from life, cause that's what life is. It's a learning experience. Then as a spiritual being, we have the ability to bring out whatever type of mediumship that we have. For There's different types of clair senses. Um, I'm not going to go too deep into them, but, you know, they're seeing, hearing, tasting, smelling, um, just knowing. Um, I can identify more with the claircognizance one. Cognizance. Um, you just know. Also, um, sentience, which is, you know, the emotional part of it. Okay? I, ha I, I can feel certain things. I don't see, I don't want to see anything. You, you, it's not going to force you. The spirit world is not going to push themselves on you. Okay? So, getting back to our spirit guide. Okay? We have different spirit guides for different purposes. There's gateway spirit guides and there's, there's a gateway spirit guide and a joy spirit guide and, um, like I said, healer, doctor, spirit, um, healer type of spirit, uh, spirit guide. So let me tell you how to get in touch with your own. Now, if you are into crystals, it helps to have crystals to help you engage in connecting with the other side. So let me introduce one of many crystals that can help you. One that I have... Okay, you see it? It is scolocyte. Okay, it helps you, it helps with the chakras. Okay, um, from the heart up, uh, if you know anything about the chakras, it helps with peace and spiritual transformation. Okay, um, very good communication stone trying to communicate with one of your guides, okay? Um, very good stone to have, very positive stone. Um, I should actually use it more and have it out more because I do use other ones. When it comes to your spirit guide, you want to open up your heart. You want to quiet your thoughts. We, living in this busy, chaotic world, have this desire to stay busy all the time. We are not programmed to constantly work 40 hours a day, come home, take care of a family, and constantly go, 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 go. And we lay in a bed and we're thinking, oh my God, what are we going to do tomorrow? Okay, we're not, we're not programmed for that. Okay, so set the mood if it helps you to light a candle, if it helps you to play music. Um, they have different types of aids on YouTube or other places on the internet can, might have some to ha ones that raise your higher vibration. I don't get into too many of those. Um, 
you always, when you quiet your mind and you have the environment that you want, setting that mood, um, dimming the lights, candles, if you want to lay down or sit up straight, make sure you're relaxed. Your composure has to be relaxed. No interruptions. Shut that cell phone off or turn it down, whatever. Mute it. Okay? You don't want the TV on. You want it to be completely quiet because you want to raise that higher vibration. Okay? Um, always call for protection. A white light. I always call it a white light of protection. Or you can call it an envelope of protection, whatever you want, that's going to keep any negativity away from you. Because you don't want that. You don't want anything negative coming in and acting like it's something that it's not. So call for that white light. Call for that envelope of protection, that bubble, okay? Ask for it. You'll get it, okay? And you want to breathe. Focused on the breath. Some people focused on the breath itself in the nose, out the mouth. And you want them to last long, okay? Seven seconds, whatever. Okay? Other people prefer, when they're breathing, to, to focus on the silence, the stop, okay? Like they breathe in. They focus on the quiet, the part, the time where you stop the breath, okay, when you go in and out. All right, always set an intention. What is this intention for? Are you wanting to ask a question? Are you wanting to fulfill some type of void? Are you wanting to uh, gain some wisdom from this, okay? Wisdom's always a good thing. Have a reason. Maybe you have a question that you want to ask your guide, okay? Okay. Um, when you, when you quiet the mind and you meet your guide, you can do that through many th ways. You can do it through guided meditations, which they have guided meditations for your spirit guide on YouTube. Okay. Um, it does guided imagery and you walk through up a mountain or through a forest or up a stairs and you open the door and you wait on your guide. That's, that's good. Or I just sit in silence. And I close my eyes and I ask. She doesn't like to come through. I'm still in a, I'm still learning. I'm progressing, okay? Um, I've seen the face. It's a woman. I've seen, you know, spirit guides once had human lives. That's how they can relate to us, okay? Um, so you can ask your guide questions, okay? And want answers, or you can just want their presence. You, you have to be tactful because they work through symbols. So if you, you tell your spirit guide, please let me know that you're here. Or if you ask a question and give me answers in this way, you can say, I'd like to see hearts throughout the day. Something that, or symbols that remind me of love, you know, during my decisions. Or just knowing that you're present. You may see... Here on the radio, um, someone talking about Valentine's Day or uh, talking about how they extremely love somebody. Or you may see hearts somewhere or, um, you know, things that remind you of what you asked. Numbers. The other side loves numbers. Okay? Lately, I've seen a lot of 111, uh, four ones, like 1111. I've seen a lot of uh, 2222 or 444. You know, I've seen the ones, the twos, and the fours, like, constantly. Like, I don't know what it is, but lately I've been, I've been on, you know, noticing this. Um, and I think that's, like, a sign. Th those things are never, never just coincidences. Those are something. Remember, we are, like James Von Prague has said, we are spiritual beings, okay, having a human experience. When you, when you do meet your spirit guide... You're raising this higher vibration. You're trying to get to that higher vibration to get to that communication level, okay? Because we're at a lower vibration. We've got so much distraction, okay? Raising that higher vibration makes it a lot easier for that communication to occur. Another thing is, before you go to bed at night, set the mood, light a candle. I wouldn't light a candle. But 
you know, maybe you want to put on some type of higher vibrational tones on YouTube um, or anything that you have access to to do that. Crystals beside your bed, okay? Um, and ask for your spirit guide to come through in dreams, okay? And be sure when you do see them, ask for their gratitude. Even if, ask, you know, tell them you thank them. Even though you didn't see them, you tried, okay? Always give thanks for that. Um, also, remember, spirit guides are not too hung up on names. If you, if you want a name, you can ask them. And, of course, they may do it through symbols. They may... You're very lucky if they tell you, but mostly through symbols, okay? Um, you may see a feather drop and um, an eagle, okay? So you may have to put that together because symbols mean different things to different people, okay? Um, or you may see a color, okay? Or um, a fairy, you know, a purple fairy or something, whatever. You know, I don't know. I'm just making that up. But... Um, Remember, names are not important to them. You can also name your spirit guide. I read something very interesting. Um, I was reading a book by Rose Van Den Enden um, about mediumship. And she said, as she gets to know her guides, she, has place, she places them in different areas. So she always tells her one spirit guide, her joy spirit guide, which is responsible for the joy in her life, to go to one side. So she knows they're always there. The gatekeeper guide that helps her communicate with, because she is a, um, a medium, you know, with those who have passed on. She keeps that to one side, so, you know. So, you can ask for, play. once you get comfortable, that's just too deep right now. But, let's just focus on meeting one guide, okay? Just see whatever guide comes through and try this. And, you know, if, if you do and it works out for you, I want to hear about it. Leave it in the comments, okay? Because this is a, a, a journey that's that just keeps going. There's so much... So much in the spirit world that as a human that we have forgotten. So if we use our wisdom and our inner abilities and practice with them, make progress, we can be in touch with that again in this world as we learn. Okay? Um, I hope everybody's enjoyed this. If you have any, like I said, questions, leave them in the comments section. I will get back to you. I'm very good at that. Um, and as always, have a wonderful and safe day. Like, subscribe, and comment, and I really appreciate your views. Thank you very much.